Hello and welcome back again to my channel. My name is Nora G and today I will be showing you how to make wall art with cardboard. This is a Pinterest inspired DIY but before we get into it, if you're new to my channel, please do remember to hit that subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Now let's get into it. So for this simple Pinterest inspired wall art DIY, this is all you will need as listed. You will also find these in the description box linked to where you can purchase the sand, the hoops and much more. Okay, especially the cardboard cutter. That is a lifesaver. Also, I did use some aluminum foil paper even though I did forget to list it on the items as shown right now on the screen. So you will see me use aluminum foil towards the end of this video which easily makes this uh, how to make wall decor with foil paper. You can refer to my previous video on cardboard wall art which I did a couple of months ago. So it is very similar to that except this one is Pinterest inspired. So to get started, I had to cut out three circles, three large circles. These actually should measure around, uh, I think, 15 diameter across, so 15 inches across. And I am using my electric cutter to cut out the circles. Okay, so if you have a compass, you can easily use that. I didn't have one, so I used a tree. And to be honest with you, I actually didn't measure it because the tree was the perfect size for the circle that I wanted. So now, using my um, Gorilla Glue and Mod Podge, I'm using both just to show you that you can use either one, either one of them. But to be honest with you, after using the two of them, I can confirm with you that uh, mod podge was the better option for this but because I didn't have enough mod podge I went ahead to use the Gorilla Glue for the rest of the DIY and after it dried out that is the sand on the cardboard I decided to change my mind and use aluminum foil instead of the sand right, the initial idea was to use the sand over it let it dry before spray painting it however it didn't turn out the way i wanted especially with the gorilla glue my husband thought it looked okay but i just wasn't feeling it so i changed my mind and went with aluminum foil so i thought to use aluminum foil instead because that actually gave me the, comp the kind of texture that i was looking for so as you would see, once this was dried, I changed my mind and went ahead with aluminum foil. Also, it was much faster for me to use aluminum foil than actually using sand and having to wait for the Gorilla Glue or the Mod Podge to cure, okay? Now they were all dried out, but because I couldn't get the sand to the sides of the circle like I really wanted it to be, I didn't want any cardboard showing, I decided to use aluminum foil. I had it all ruffled up and then opened again. Just like in my previous video on how to make wall art with cardboard, I did the same kind of style and then went ahead to glue this onto the cardboard. And this is how it looks before spray painting it. So now I will go ahead and do the same thing on the third one which I had curled out a circle in the middle just for an added flare and then once I'm done with gluing this onto the cardboard I will go ahead to spray paint all three of them. Just watch as I do this. So make sure to check out my other video on how to make wall art with cardboard and how to make wall decor with foil paper. That link will be found in the description box below and also at the top of your screen right now. So now back to our wall decor, our Pinterest inspired wall decor. I have all three set. I will be using this Krylon chalkboard black spray to spray paint it. And this is what it looks like after. So I had it all spray painted black and once it was dry, I went ahead to use the treasure gold paint, which I also have the link in the description box to actually brush it over the black just to give it some kind of like a distressed look and also some kind of like a metallic, uh, like an old metal um, kind of look. So I didn't want it all gold or too black, but just kind of like 
lost a little bit vintage if you get what I mean but yeah I was trying to go for that so just watch as I do this thank you so much for watching right up to this point and so if you can comment catbot in the comment section and show your girl some love I would greatly appreciate it thank you and let's keep going so keep in mind that this is just my personal preference you can actually choose to make this silver whatever color you want black and white is another great option that will actually look really good and then with the gold hula hoops over it that will look perfect but I think I've done um, quite a bit black and white and I still have a lot of black and white projects coming up so I wanted to do something different okay so we will go ahead and have that done so right now I will be using this popsicle sticks on the back to actually attach all three of them together so that uh, they're all aligned before I will go ahead to have the hula hoops glued onto the cat butt. Just watch as I do this. So I will be using some jute rope on the back as well as some popsicle sticks to actually create uh, a hanging place like um, some kind of a string where I can you can easily hang this on the wall all right so you could use anything on here you could use double-sided um, tape you could use command hooks that's all up to you I'm using jute on here but you can use double-sided tape or command hooks for that as well so now I will be attaching the hoops that I got from the dollar store not all the hoops Correction. So I'll be using these metal hoops in gold that I got from the dollar store and attaching them on strategic places on this art wall art. So you, to make this yours, you can actually choose wherever you want to have that glued. For me, I am choosing this randomly. So there is no particular rule book for this. All right. So let's get it in. So I am using hot glue for this, but I would strongly recommend you use E6000 glue or Gorilla glue for this. I did go ahead after um, after this to use some Gorilla glue on the hoops as well. Even though I didn't show that on the camera, that was because I had already, I was already done with the project and then decided to use E6000 glue to enforce that, make sure that this was holding onto this stronger. Okay, so keep that in mind. So once I was done gluing all hoops on the cat butt on the Pinterest inspired DIY, this is our final look. So I just have a display here on the counter, but I will go ahead to show you what this looks like on the wall. And here is it. I really loved how this turned out. It is simple and very, very contemporary. And also I love the fact that it has a lot of circles. So for those that are into shapes, this will make very good wall art decor for you. All right, so also make sure to check out my other DIY videos. And if um, you've watched right up to here, please do not forget to hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a thing. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self, no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching. Thank you.